everybody! Welcome to Virtual Storytime! My name is Pippa and I am the Children's Librarian here at the Gibsons and District Public Library. Thanks for tuning in! So today we're going to do some songs and some stories and even a felt story all about different kinds of animals. So let's start off with um, our new hello song which I've been practicing. Hopefully it'll be a bit smoother. And it's to the tune of Farmer in the Dell, the Farmer in the Dell, which you may recognize. So we clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with the friends at story time, we clap and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with the friends at story time, we wave and sing hello, we Stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Did you hear my feet stomping? There they go. <laughs> we jump and sing hello, we jump and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we jump and sing hello. We sit quietly and sing hello, we sit quietly and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we sit quietly and sing hello. Great, thanks for joining in. So I've got some friends to join me today. Beek. Who's that? Hmm, let's see. That is a, that's a cow. Now, what do cows say? Moo, that's right. Moo, 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 moo. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. Moo, 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 moo. That is what they say. They say moo, 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 moo. That is what they say. Thank you, Mr. Cow. Let's see, who else do I have here? When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. What does a pig say? What do you say? Oink. Oink, 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 oink. That is what they say. They say oink, 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 oink. That is what they say. Thank you, pig. Thank you, pig. Who else is here? Hmm. When octopuses get up in the morning, they always say, what does an octopus say? Squiggle. Let's say squiggle. Squiggle. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. That is what they say. They say squiggle, 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 squiggle. That is what they say. Oh, thank you, octopus. Take a bow. Get all your many legs off there. When, who else do I have here? When bears get up in the morning, they always say good day. When bears get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say, hmm, what does a bear say? Growl, grr, that sounds good. Grr, 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 grr. That is what they say. They say, grr, 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 grr. That is what they say. All right, bear, octopus, pig, cow, thank you for joining us on story time. That was a fun song. Now, oh, I've got a story here. There it is. And this is a story called What? The ladybird heard. You see that? Now what's a ladybird? There's a picture of one on the cover and it's right there. Sometimes we call them ladybugs. I think in England or the United Kingdom they, they say ladybird, but they both mean the same thing. Now this is a very sparkly book. Can you see the sparkles? There's some Nice sparkly texture on there. And it is written by Julia Donaldson, who also wrote The Gruffalo. 
and it's illustrated by Lydia Monks and published by Macmillan Press. And as I said, it's called What the Ladybird Heard. Here's the little ladybird. I'm just going to get this into nice frame so we can all see it. Ooh, there's the farm. There's quite a bit going on on this farm. Many animals. What do you see? I see a scarecrow, a pig, a horse, some ducks, lots of animals. There's the ladybird. Okay. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse, and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed, and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow, and a lady bird. And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck, hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog, ba, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. One cat meowed while the other one purred. And the lady bird said never a word. Shh. But the lady bird saw, and the lady bird heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, this is how. We're going to steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, pass the hog, be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. There's their map. And the little spotty ladybird, who never before had said a word, told the animals, this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse, and then turn right. Round the duck pond, pass the hog, being careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. There's the little ladybird. She's so little. And the cow said, moo, and the hen said, cluck, hiss said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the pig. Ba, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea, and she whispered it into each animal ear. Here's her pathway, into each ear it goes. At dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, no with all her might. Then Led said, that's the horse, turn right. What, the goose said nay? Oh my goodness. And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck, said Hugh, we're right on track. Who's the duck? Quack. Oh, that's the dog. Oink, said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Bah, 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 said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. They're tricking them, aren't they? 
and they both stepped into the duck pond. Splosh! And the farmer woke and said, Golly gosh! And he called the cops, and they came, and they threw the thieves in their panda car. Why do you think they call it a panda car? Black and white, just like a panda. Then the cow said, moo, and the hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep, woof, said the dog. And the farmer cheered, and both cats purred. But the ladybird said never a word. And there's the end. There's a little rainbow up at the top, don't we? And off the robbers go. And a little cat dance at the end. And that's what the ladybird heard. And that's fun to practice your animal songs or sounds. And it's got a nice rhyme to it. So you can check that out anytime. It's here at the Gibsonson District Public Library. So let's see, oh, I've got a felt story. I love felt stories. So let's see, it's just over here. And this felt story has frogs in it. There they are, these beautiful frogs with their fun googly eyes. What do you think these are? What are these guys? These are little fat flies, which frogs love to eat. So sing along with me and you can watch the story go. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Blub, blub. So let's count. One, Two, three, four. Give him a fly. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Blub, blub. <laughs> Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Blub, blub. Yum, 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 yum. So we got one, two on the logs. One, two, three in the pool. Three green and speckled, oh, no, I'm at two, sorry. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. And there they go. They all have their flies and they're having a nice cool swim in the pond. Whoop. Great, thanks for joining me on that one. I really like that song too. So it's time to say goodbye and we're gonna try our brand new um, goodbye song this time as well. So let's see. We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. 
We jump and say goodbye. We jump and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we jump and say goodbye. We let's stomp, stomp and say goodbye. We stomp and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we stomp and say goodbye. We sit nicely and wave goodbye. We sit nicely and wave goodbye. With our friends at story time, we sit nicely and wave goodbye. Bye everyone. So good to have you today at virtual story time. I hope to see you at the library soon. Bye everyone.